In a world that rests atop ticking tectonic time bombs, the San Andreas Fault stands as the most notorious. But now, whispers among experts hint at something ominous. Is the fault line stirring from its slumber? Are we on the cusp of witnessing nature's ferocity in a display like never before? As groundbreaking revelations come to light, we must ask, how prepared are we truly for what's lurking below? Dive with us into the heart of the mystery as we unearth the truth behind the imminent threat of the San Andreas Fault's awakening. Because of its history of frequent and possibly destructive earthquakes, the San Andreas Fault has continued to be a source of anxiety for people living in the state of California. This fault line is a vivid reminder of the persistent seismic activity that is characteristic of the western portion of the U.S., and it stretches for nearly 800 miles through that region. Over the course of several decades, experts in the field of science and study have kept a close eye on the fault, utilizing a wide variety of methods in order to forecast and comprehend the behavior of seismic events along its length. The fault's propensity to generate severe earthquakes has driven public awareness and motivated rigorous preparedness procedures, both of which try to limit the possible effects of the aftermath of a significant seismic event. In order to strengthen structural resilience and reduce the potential damage caused by earthquakes, communities located near the San Andreas Fault have, over time, enacted severe building laws and regulations. This is done in an effort to lessen the impact of any earthquakes that may occur. In order to guarantee prompt and efficient responses in the event of a catastrophe, emergency response plans have been polished and perfected by utilizing the lessons learned from previous earthquakes. The unexpected character of earthquakes continues to present a difficulty, notwithstanding the progress that has been made in seismic science, which has increased our understanding of the fault's behavior. The prospect of the big one, a hypothetically enormous earthquake that could come from a rupture along the San Andreas Fault, hovers in the minds of Californians and emphasizes the urgent need for continued research and preparation activities. The big one is a hypothetically massive earthquake that could result in a rupture along the San Andreas Fault. In light of this geological fact, the San Andreas Fault acts as a sobering but necessary reminder of the precarious equilibrium that exists between human habitation and the forces of the Earth. This highlights the significance of vigilance, resilience, and adaptability in a region that is distinguished by its jaw-dropping scenery and ever-changing tectonic foundations. Seismic Tremors A significant earthquake would occur as a direct result of the fault's rupture in the very short term. Depending on how powerful it was, it might have been felt across a significant portion of the western U.S. It's possible that the shaking will last anywhere from a few seconds to several minutes, and it has the potential to bring down buildings, bridges, highways, and other types of infrastructure. A full-scale rupture, as shown by both historical evidence and computer simulations, has the potential to trigger an earthquake with a magnitude greater than 8.0. Rupture of the surface. The force of the eruption may generate a noticeable rupture in the surface of the earth along the fault line. Because of this, any roads, pipelines, railroads, or other structures that traverse the fault might be completely severed or badly destroyed. Tsunamis. If the rift reaches offshore, as some areas of the San Andreas do, it has the potential to displace enormous volumes of salt water, which could result in tsunamis. There would be an immediate threat to coastal communities, but the influence of the earthquake may be felt all the way across the Pacific Ocean. The shaking caused by the earthquake has the potential to destabilize slopes, which can then lead to landslides in places that are steep or mountainous. This has the potential to bury houses, roads, and other structures under massive amounts of rock and soil. Incendiary aftershocks are a common consequence of earthquakes. Gas lines could burst, electrical wires could spark, and as a result of the initial mayhem and damage to the infrastructure, firefighting attempts could be delayed, which would lead to the rapid spread of the fire. Not only has the abrasive movement of the Pacific Plate against the North American Plate shaped the harsh topography of the state, but it has also given rise to the towering mountain ranges, deep valleys, and broad plains that characterize California's diversified geology. These features were formed as a result of the grinding movement of the Pacific Plate against the North American Plate. The slow and persistent movement of the fault is something that, over the course of a human life, is unlikely to be seen. However, the fault's potential for seismic upheaval is a constant reminder of the Earth's unstable character. Strong earthquakes have been caused by the San Andreas Fault throughout the millennia, 
and these tremors have left a permanent mark on the towns and ecosystems that the fault passes through. The San Andreas Fault is an ever-present boundary where the persistent pushing and pulling of tectonic plates continue to affect the fate of a region and its inhabitants. In the magnificent tapestry that is the history of California, the San Andreas Fault stands as a glaring reminder of the dynamic character of the Earth. The San Andreas Fault is a tectonic barrier that runs the length of California and is roughly 800 miles long. The tendency of the fault to be the source of significant earthquakes is due to the complicated interaction that it has with the tectonic plates that are located on each side of it, namely the Pacific and the North American. The San Andreas Fault has been responsible for a number of significant earthquakes throughout history. One of these was the devastating earthquake that took place in San Francisco in 1906 and caused severe destruction and loss of life. Those who live along the route of the fault are currently quite likely to be concerned about the possibility of a future earthquake that could cause significant damage. More stringent building rules and increased disaster preparedness measures are being implemented in some towns as part of ongoing efforts to reduce the potential damage that could be caused by such an occurrence. In recent years, advanced monitoring systems and prediction models have provided invaluable insights into the behavior of the fault, which has assisted in the creation of contingency plans. Residents and authorities are maintaining a high level of vigilance, and the possibility of a big earthquake along the San Andreas Fault serves as a sad reminder of the fluid and unpredictability of the forces that govern our world. Seismologists have been making predictions for a long time that have pointed to a cyclical pattern of earthquakes with a recurrence interval of about 22 years. The recollection of the most recent significant earthquake, which occurred in 2004 and resulted in widespread devastation, continues to throw a pall over the national mind. The destruction that it left behind served as a sobering reminder of the unpredictability of the wrath that sits beneath the surface of the earth. Engineers and architects have meticulously strengthened infrastructures by putting into action innovative designs that are able to endure the unrelenting power of a quake. Plans for responding to emergencies have been rigorously created, taking into account the lessons that have been gained from previous disasters in order to ensure a prompt and coordinated response. A continual reminder of the precarious nature of life in these seismic hotspots is the precarious equilibrium that exists between anticipation and apprehension. This delicate balance hangs in the air. The entire world is keeping a vigilant eye out in the hopes that the forecasts will come to fruition and that the next 22-year milestone will be reached without mishap. The Pacific and American tectonic plates are becoming increasingly tense with each passing day which has stoked fears of a possibly catastrophic earthquake in the area. Geologists and seismologists alike have begun to focus their attention on the precarious confluence where these enormous plates meet. This has resulted in a heightened level of monitoring as well as fear. Since the dawn of scientific research, researchers have been well aware of the massive forces that are contained inside the crust of the Earth along this border. The Pacific Plate which is characterized by its unrelenting drive toward the West, is engaged in a struggle with the American plate, which is distinguished by its unyielding determination to resist this movement. This abrasive competition of strength has been building up tension for decades, resulting in a tense standoff that may eventually give birth to seismic instability. Experts stress the importance of being prepared and having a quick response plan in place in the event of a probable earthquake notwithstanding the difficulty of accurately predicting the exact date and severity of an earthquake. Local governments and agencies that manage disasters have been toiling away around the clock to come up with exhaustive plans for comprehensive contingencies. The public is being made more aware of the situation, evacuation routes are being plotted out, and emergency shelters are being prepared. The memories of previous seismic disasters serve as jarring reminders of the potential repercussions and they urge the authorities to examine every possible avenue in their search for ways to reduce the likelihood of widespread destruction. Populations in the surrounding areas are holding their breath as scientists continue to carefully monitor the tectonic tensions between the Pacific and American plates. These populations are holding their breath 
in the hope that careful preparation and prompt action will prevent a catastrophe of unprecedented proportions. Recent research has shown that our understanding of a geological characteristic that had been neglected in the past has changed in a way that is cause for alarm. The middle section of a fault line, which was once thought to be safe, has recently been identified as a possible source of major seismic activity in the distant future. As a result of this discovery, specialists have revised their assessments of the risk posed by the entire fault, which is now regarded as a dangerous zone. Seismologists and geologists have paid very little attention to the segment of the fault that is located in the middle because they believe it to be relatively stable over the course of several decades. Nevertheless, a plethora of in-depth research that made use of sophisticated imaging methods and accurate measurements has unearthed the fault's previously unknown potential for producing magnitude-worthy earthquakes. Researchers and towns that are located along the fault's path have been increasingly concerned as a result of the fault's newly acquired reputation as a source of seismic activity. The dynamics of geology are complex and multifaceted, and they frequently throw forth shocks that call into question previously held notions. This latest discovery is a potent reminder of the ever-changing nature of scientific comprehension, and it acts, as such, in a poignant way. As specialists delve deeper into the complexities of the fault, they work toward deciphering the mechanisms that may set off severe seismic occurrences. The ramifications of this shift in perspective are far-reaching, and as a result, land use planning, emergency preparedness measures, and building rules in the surrounding regions need to be rethought. Even if the potential for increased seismic activity throughout the entire fault raises concerns, it also highlights the significance of continued study and vigilant risk management in order to lessen the impact of potential dangers. While people struggle to come to terms with this unsettling information, scientists continue their efforts to decipher the complexity of the fault's behavior in an effort to produce accurate forecasts and well-informed suggestions that would protect lives and infrastructure in the event that such earthquakes occur in the future. Thank you so much for watching. For more, kindly subscribe to our channel and we will see you in our next video.